Hey, Jack, Tim, what the hell? Man, bro, the intro. All right, AJ, so what are we doing today? Man, I don't know. JW told me he got a bunch of new stuff in. It's at the showroom. Where, that's where me and Tim are walking there now. I guess let's check it out, see what we got. And by the looks of it, as what I can see so far, it is something ridiculous, as usual. So he didn't tell you anything about what it was? No, no. Oh, so I guess this is some type of military record truck. And what in the hell? A Unimog. A what? A Unimog by Mercedes. <laughs> oh. Uh, we have a DTL Custom Jeep. Uh, I like that. And a Range Rover. I believe this is diesel as well. But this thing right here. So if you're ever going to be in an apocalypse, um, 10 out of 10 I recommend. Definitely. You know, good good zombie running over capabilities as you can see we look at the tires here and um this one definitely you know clear good zombie running over capabilities shooting out the window get your guns out there definitely definitely you should give like a nice demonstration oh yeah yeah, yeah of course, come on of in course. yeah yeah of course yeah, i'll get on the other side well um tim do you know how to start this no, dude. First time seeing this thing. Okay, well, it says the so battery's on. Um, throttle. Let's put on a little bit. <laughs> Lucky guess. Holy crap. Got a lot of smoke there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the modes on this thing, man. Check this out. Got highway, cross country, I guess, sand, emergency, run flats. I do know these tires do deflate themselves and um, they do refill themselves back up. So I think that's pretty cool. So, you know, if you're trying to get away in the apocalypse, you don't got to worry about a flat tire. I like these windows. Yeah. Check this out. <laughs> you know what this is for? Boom, boom. We go boom, boom, okay? Run all the zombies over, okay? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> So, Zombie Apocalypse comes yes. to Davis Auto Sales. Yes, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, we have two of them. Oh. We have two. The, 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 the Moog? The, the Unimog. 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 Oh, well, look who it is. So, I see y'all trying to beat me to it this morning, but as you can see, I always leave them with some surprises. Got some stuff that we purchased uh, and just arrived. I didn't even have a chance to look at the record yet, but. Uh, Unimog I knew about. I've seen pictures. It's pretty cool. I just finished walking around that and of course brought in a Range Rover all the way from California. That's a diesel SUV. My Jeep I've been riding with the diesel, which I first time pulled a trailer as you can see behind it, generator. Uh, so we'll never be without power. Just pick that up. So really can attest to these Jeeps being pretty spot on. And then uh, don't think he's seen it yet because I just rolled up, but a uh, two-door G-Wagon that came from Lithuania. So uh, Got that one, and a gloss black one, and a red one. All three just got imported, so. And that's on top of the Volkswagens. We'll get to those another day. We got five Volkswagens that we just imported in. So, uh, got some pretty exciting stuff to show you guys. We'll do a little walk around. Might have to leave AJ with it. We got a couple customers I gotta take care of this morning, but here we are. shift never seen something that shifts like this ever um, honestly though it actually rides pretty good <laughs> for it to be this huge oh wow yeah. and that's that's your gear shifter right here you got different modes for your windows you got your hazards and also this thing comes equipped where you can deflate your tires 
and refill them back up. It's pretty sick, actually. But driving wise, it feels normal. It feels balanced. What do you think, Tim? Pretty smooth ride? <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. I mean, we're pretty much sitting all over top of everyone. Everything. Yeah, everything. Everything. Yeah, but this thing drives really smooth. Just going down the, the regular yeah. road like this, yeah. but it, it's built for off-road. It's built for off-road. That's that's the cool part. Like, yeah. but normally when you have something that's built for off-road, you know, on the road it rides terrible. Right. But this thing is just like it's yeah. like rides like a Cadillac, honestly, and really. The tires aren't like loud or anything like that. I mean, rides smooth. All the interior stuff works. I mean, this is just you got all the absolutely comfort. crazy. Yeah, AC everything. AC, oh, heat. The seats even better. Yes. <laughs> Do have air ride seats. <laughs> Yo, this thing is fun. <laughs> yeah. So, behind us, of course, this is basically like made for like, I guess, like off road adventure camping or yeah, something like that. Yeah, this is extreme so, adventure off roading for sure. So, we got some shots of that on the inside of the back and everything. But, yeah, you got a big old camper back there and. Once again, if a uh, zombie apocalypse ever happens, yes. man, I think I think we'll be good. Yeah, I think I think I think Davis Auto Sales is the place to go, we'll and right. they got you covered. All sorts of events. All right, guys, so we're gonna head on back. We're gonna hop in something else. We'll switch it up. Tim or I will pick, and we'll be right back with you. Film some more stuff. All right, we are in a Jeep Gladiator that has a Cummins in it with a Banks tuner. Ooh. Yeah, completely unnecessary. Yes, yes, definitely doesn't need this. <laughs> but is it cool? We love it. Yes, yes, yeah. we do. Yes, we do. So, first few thoughts, of course, it's a Jeep, so it rides like a Jeep, but. In a couple seconds, you will see why we love this one. Because it is... This thing moves. For a Jeep. Moves very well, moves very well. But overall riding, I mean, it's just sick. It's absolutely sick. I'm going to put the windows up so you can hear me. Apologies. But it's absolutely sick. I mean... Put the AC on too. It's a little toasty oh, yeah. out here. A little toasty. The tops come off. Yes, the tops definitely Just like do. a Jeep. Just like a Jeep. And if you're really feeling special, of course, you can do the beep beep Jeep and take your doors off. Oh, the Jeep beep. Yes. Yes. And have a back seat and have space to put a cooler for your beer and stuff when you go to the beach. Because this is basically like a trunk. So, I mean, honestly, best bang for your buck vehicle. It is a little tight in here room wise for this vehicle like all jeeps of course but overall driving awesome gas mileage it's a diesel so it does pretty well um i'm out of stuff still i'm out of stuff i really yeah. stuff yeah the seats are really comfortable too yes they are heated not cooled though oh so you got all this up yep heated seats heated seats heated steering wheel um, so all you your, got navigation or anything? Or yes, what? sir. Of course, all touchscreen. Oh, man. Okay. All your media hookups. Of course, your four-wheel drive options down here. So you can lock and everything. More hookups. Right at your fingertips. All at your fingertips. Yeah. Of course, you can adjust the tune right here, up or, up or down, whichever one you want to do. Has the integrated garage door system right here as well. I think this one might have a safe in it. It does not. I thought it did. Yes, it does. Oh. <laughs> this one does have a safe in it. Oh, that must be like an added. Yes. Okay. Definitely. Cool. cool. Definitely. Definitely added. Alrighty, another one down. So we went over the Jeep. 
Now let's head on back and grab the Range Rover. See you in a Range Rover. The big Range Rover, excuse me. See you in a couple seconds, guys. How's your day going, man? Oh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right. Uh, Let's get this drive ready. Okay, yeah. Just make sure you do a good job because uh, I ain't hesitant to leave you like a one star. <laughs> All right, guys. Today we're in a 17 Range Rover. You know, a lot of these cars don't only come with big V8s that are typically gas suckers. But this one has a diesel in it. Very, very rare. And check this out. Armrest with the seats. Pure luxury, heated and cooled. Temperature, climate zones. Uh, I mean, Tim, take a look at the interior. It is sick, of course. Oh. And it has the roof. It has an awesome roof. Hey, expensive Uber. Very, very, very expensive Uber. That's my daughter would say, bougie. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm gonna listen to the car and put my seatbelt on before oh, it won't stop dinging. Safety first. Safety always. Safety first. This, I mean, top of class luxury car. You can't beat it. Everybody knows Range Rover comes with all the bells and whistles, even if you buy a standard one. Um, now it's telling me that uh, my passenger is not safe, but it's okay because he's the camera guy. Yeah. And that would be Tim. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to do our quick normal route. And um, overall, ride is, of course, great it's everything soft it feels like your steering wheel is not loose it doesn't have any play um quiet. it's quiet very very quiet inside like it it bothers me how quiet it is honestly what are the comfort features that we have up in here it's so many i mean of course you're all your ac stuff you got everything well, the navigation, navigation yeah. your phone you got you can have apple carplay you got cameras I mean, it's, this, uh, it has everything. It, that looks like, is it ride height? Yes. Yeah. It's got yes, ride it height is. control on it and everything. Yes. Push button, parking brake. Traction control, of course, your different um, vehicle modes for off road in the sand, desert, anything. You got your um, economy stuff, your energy impact. I mean, it literally has everything on here. Like I said, the cameras, I don't think I can do that while I'm driving. Got your seats for your temperatures. If you want them hot or cold, I mean, it's just an absolute luxury vehicle. Like it's, it can't beat it. Can't beat it at all. You got paddle shift on there too. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I, like I do. That yes, I fun. do. That could be fun. That I guess. Be a lot of fun. I guess we can uh, check that out here in a little bit. See how we do. A little uh, Mexico action. A little Mexico action. We love. We love. We love little Mexico action. AC definitely works in here. Oh, it's yeah, it's, it's feeling good. I'm not <laughs> taking a nap. As you can see, this does have start stop. Yeah. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. I thought we broke I thought we broke it for just a quick second. It was mm -hmm. kind of scary. I, I don't want to make that phone call to JW. No, no, no. <laughs> this is vehicle dimensions. Let's check this out. Green light. Oh, wow. Check this out. Vehicle dimensions. That is sick. Well, guys, that about wraps it up for the Range Rover. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Davis Drives. I should probably put my seatbelt on now. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. But just in case we do have a zombie apocalypse, as you can see, there's plenty of shooting room out the front. You know, just boom, 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 boom. You never know. Some one try to crawl over you, we run them over. Military truck style. Oh, oh, you actually recording for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Stay in this drive.